Yes, it has been culture shock coming from uh, the government to, uh, to Yale. Quite culture shock. Uh, two entirely different systems. Uh, why you need a potato number here at Yale to buy a paper clip. In the federal government, uh, you can't do anything unless the regs say you can actually do it. But today I'm going to talk about uh, why I was recruited here, and that was to set up the Yale Center for Analytical Sciences, or YCAS, and our overarching objective is to bring biostatistics under one umbrella here at the Medical Center. In addition to my, myself, uh, Jim Zurer has been doing a lot with uh, YCCI, and he set a lot of this up before I came, and Casey King's our executive director. So what I'll talk about today is some history of YCAS, some, a little bit about the organizational structure, some of our services, and uh, importantly, how to build a biostatistics shared resource for the Yale Cancer Center. So the Yale Center for Analytical Sciences, or YCAS, is a collaboration between uh, YCCI, the Yale Center of Clinical Investigation, and the Yale School of Public Health. And the driving force between creating uh, YCAS was Robert Shurin from YCCI and Paul Cleary from the School of Public Health. This wouldn't have happened uh, without them, and actually this has probably been 30 years in the, in the process of being uh, uh, developed. It goes way back to since when I was a student. And so YCAS was established in January of 2010. That's when, exactly when I, I came on board, and it can, this partnership can be represented by this wheel where the hub is YCCI and YCAS, and the spokes are out to clinical departments in, in the School of Medicine, and one of them is the Cancer Center. So one of our missions is to get the Biostat shared resource up, running, and can stand peer review for the competitive renewal. So that's a major mission of ours. So the mission of the center is to bring together the academic strengths in biostatistics, epidemiology, health economics, and health services research at the School of Public Health with collaborative staff at our center to provide the expertise to con design, conduct, analyze health and healthcare studies, also to do methodologic development, and also education and training to Yale and the extended research community. So it's quite a big, broad mission. And the goals are to provide the infrastructure and resources to facilitate access to biostatistical, epidemiologic, genomic, and other research expertise that can help in the design, conduct, and analysis of investigations throughout the university. So we're like a clearinghouse here. We're also to link applied and methodological scientists in biostatistics, epi, and other disciplines for collaborative research projects throughout the university. So it's important to link the methodologic people, the actual people who do the theoretical stuff, with the people who are doing the collaborative and applied work. And this is one of our goals, is to link these people together. Also to train and educate the next generation of clinical investigators in research methodology. We have a summer training session through YCCI. Importantly, to train the next generation of applied biostatisticians and methodologists in analytical sciences, such as biostatistics, epidemiology, and health economics. Uh, there's a real shortage of biostatisticians in this country. We're not producing our own. And one of the things we'd like to do is to bring people in through our program, actually train them. And we actually have a couple grad students that we're training in the applied area, how to deal and collaborate with clinicians, which you don't learn in school. So you need these kinds of centers to bring these kinds of people together. And we'd also like to conduct innovative biostatistical and epidemiologic research to uh, promote our own professional careers, and also to help better design and analyze the studies that are being done in cancer. So these go together, the, uh, the methodologic work and the collaborative folks working hand in hand. So our, briefly, our organizational structure, as I mentioned, we have two homes, our academic home is in the School of Public Health, our clinical home is out in the medical center. We also have a steering committee. We have 
collaborations with the School of Public Health, faculty, other programs and centers such as the Cancer Center, Program on Aging, School of Nursing, also moving out into the VA where I came from. Uh, we also collaborate with uh, Yale Center for Medical Informatics, Informatics and Biostatistics and Epidemiology. You need the information in order to analyze the data. So good studies have good data collection and we're collaborating with them with uh, and how to do this and there's a new clinical trials management system coming on Encore, so we'll be working with them on how to train people. We also work closely with the Yale Center for Statistical Genomics and Proteomics, uh, directed by Hong Yu Zhao. They provide uh, the genomic aspects of, of uh, analytics that we need for the center and also we have core faculty and support staff. Just to briefly review what some of this is, right now we have two PhD biostatisticians. We have four starting over the next two months. So we recruited four PhDs uh, since I came on board in January. We have five master's level people, two being supported by cancer. We have two statistical geneticists from Hong Yu Zhao Shop. We have a statistical programmer. We have five affiliated faculty that we're supporting at the School of Public Health. And we have one faculty member from YCMI. So we have a total of 22 people, about 13 FTEs. When I came on board in January, there were only four people. If you add in myself, that's five. So we've uh, quadrupled the size of the center. And we expect to probably double the size again over the next five years or so. If you look at, at other academic medical centers, they have typically 30 biostatisticians at the center, not counting support personnel. And Yale should, should have a center of that magnitude. We're currently recruiting a PH biostatistician for the cancer center. That's ongoing. We're bringing in people. Actually, as we speak, tomorrow will be somebody else coming in. And another need is a health economist. We're also engaged in negotiations with bringing on a health economist. So what we're trying to do is identify needs in the medical center and try to fill those needs. And the, these are two pressing needs right now. So where are we located? Right now we're located at 2 Church Street South, Suite 112, that's the doctor's building. October 1, we're moving to 300 George Street on the fifth floor. So that will put us contiguous to the Yale Center of Medical Informatics, the Yale Center for Statistical Genomics and Proteomics, the Yale Pathology Informatics Group. I guess the Keck Center is partly located, but moving out to permanently to the West, West Campus. So being contiguous will allow us to form better collaborations with people we're already collaborating with. So in terms of services, we can provide statistical collaboration on protocol development, such as uh, developing appropriate statistical designs, coming up with new ones, developing uh, testable hypotheses, determine how big a study you actually need, and developing analytical and monitoring plans. We can also design and analyze epidemiologic, ecological, genomic, and pilot studies, as well as clinical trials. That's my expertise. We also provide training in biostatistics and epidemiology for clinical investigators. Uh, we can do manuscript preparation review if you need it. And we also have weekly research design clinics for investigators to review concepts for new studies and to develop testable hypotheses. These were initiated in May and we encourage everyone to submit uh, something for review. We meet every Wednesday from 12 to 2 at the School of Public Health. We're getting a new room because they started a new academic year, so we had to move our location. And to request a consultation, we can be contacted at YCAS at Yale.edu. So if you have any questions about your studies, it could be analytic issues, it could be design issues, um, come and see us. And we bring the required expertise that's needed for your particular question or project. So if we don't have the expertise, we'll bring somebody in. Things that we're developing. We're developing weekly analytic clinics for investigators to discuss analytical challenges for ongoing and completed studies. We just recruited somebody from Yale Statistics Department 
and one of the things that he'll be doing is running these kinds of clinics. They do it right now in the statistics department and it's open to the entire medical center. So we're trying to coordinate with them and opening up uh, clinics out here also. And we're developing capabilities to uh, run a statistical coordinating center. This will take some time, but we've got a few studies that we're starting to initiate that process with. So how do we work? What we do is assemble a team for each project and bring in additional expertise as needed. Uh, the team can aid researchers in a wide variety of ways, from pre-design advice to manuscript preparation. Together we can assess your needs, whether it's long-term collaboration or short-term advice and consultation. Even better, initial consultations are free with no commitment. So if you want to come in and talk about your projects, uh, we may be able to help you. And ideally, we'd like to be involved in the inception of the project rather than at the end where you just come and say, oh, here's my data and uh, half of it's missing. Well, there's not much we can do about it at that <laughs> particular point. Importantly, the biostatistics shared resource. Our goal is to build it, the infrastructure for the cancer center, similar to what we're doing for YCCI, actually under one umbrella. So we're working with the Cancer Center leadership and Dr. Lynch and some of his folks to try and put this together. So the current support for the Biostat shared resource, we have two FTE for master's level biostatisticians. We're recruiting a PhD, as I mentioned. Uh, Dan Zelteman and myself uh, providing uh, some support and Jim Jura through YCCI is providing support also. Also, we have faculty and infrastructure support from YCAS. So whatever the Cancer Center is supporting right now, two master's level people and parts of other people, we have a center behind those people so that we can bring in the required expertise that's needed for a project. So it's not just a couple people working with cancer. It's, it's a whole group out there that's available to collaborate with cancer researchers. So try to get away from the silo mentality of having a lone biostat out there. They don't know everything. Uh, I don't. I'm clinical trials. If you ask me to design an epidemiologic study, I would have some trouble with that. That's not my area of expertise. So what we try to do is bring the people, the experts together so that we can form collaborative teams. So our services for the Cancer Center, right now we cover all the key cancer committees, the PRC, the QUACs. Uh, we can participate in design and analysis, such as clinical trials, observational studies, grant preparation, manuscript review, education and training, and as I mentioned, statistical coordination of clinical trials. This will take some time uh, to develop. Once the new clinical trial management system comes on board, that's a key piece that will enable us to move forward. So access, for clinical research, we've assigned four biostatisticians. We took the two FTE and split it up into four people, into also to cover the 12 clinical areas that be, can be contacted for consultation at any time. These people are available right now. And for basic sciences, we have a help desk with hours Monday through Thursday from 10 to 12 and 1 to 3. They're manned by a statistician, so you can email us. We don't have a phone right now. That's the interesting <laughs> thing about coming to Yale. <laughs> Once we move to our new location, I guess we get one. You can drop in. We have a website. So multiple ways to contact us. We want to be contacted. We have to justify our support. <laughs> oh, they'll take it away. We've sent a memo to the Cancer Center leadership detailing the biostatistical coverage. Uh, which you can email me if you want uh, some help. We can provide the help. We also have weekly research and design clinics, not funded by the Cancer Center, actually. Open to all investigators. This is part of our YCCI function. Cancer comes under YCCI also. So we're sharing the resources. So whatever cancer puts in, YCCI puts in, we put it all together. Schedule an appointment at ycas.yale.edu. We're also recruiting a triage manager to handle all 
requests and track, track resources. Uh, there's no sense contacting somebody if you don't get an answer. Uh, so we're pretty sensitive to that. So if you do send us an email, we want to make sure that uh, somebody responds to you. So what's our vision for the future? Well, I just came, and one of the key things that we want to do is to build the Biostat shared resource to best serve the needs of the Cancer Center with input from the Cancer Center leadership. We want to build it together. Uh, we can't build it without your input. To develop the statistical infrastructure for the competitive renewal, also with support from the White, uh, Yale School of Public Health faculty. We want to make sure we have the proper infrastructure that can stand up to peer review. So we're going to need the methodologic statisticians from the School of Public Health to actually participate in the, in the grant. And also to enhance the capabilities for conducting clinical trials. We're starting, we're growing, we want to interact with you folks, contact us, we want to build this, but we want to build this uh, the right way and we need your help. Thank you, any questions?